All right, so here are three examples of alternating series. Um, and we want to decide if they converge absolutely, or only conditionally, or perhaps not at all. Um, looking at the first one, right, if we, if we look at our terms a n, n plus 3 over n squared plus 2n plus 5, um, well, we might notice that those are approximately 1 over n for n large, right? Um, so, okay, we can do limit comparison, right? Using limit comparison, we know that this is going to diverge if we take the absolute value, right? So without the absolute value, um, we know that that this, you know, if we take the absolute value, sorry, taking the absolute value, we know that this diverges, right? And we do a, a simple limit comparison for that. Um, but it does converge. Terms are positive. They go to zero in the limit. Um, and they're decreasing. You can check. You can use. You can use the derivative, right? We can take the function, look at the derivative, figure out where it's where it's decreasing. Um, it's more work than we can fit on the board here. But you can check that they that this does satisfy the conditions of the alternating series test. So it is a convergent alternating series. Um, um, so in this case, we get converges. Uh, so this will be conditional. Convergence. Right. Convergence conditionally, because this does converge. Alternating series test says that it does, but if you drop the minus one to the n, it diverges. Okay? It's essentially the alternating harmonic series with a bit of clutter. Very good. Moving on to this one. Um, well, here we've got that exponential on the bottom. We expect that's probably going to win out over a polynomial on the top. Um, so we might suspect absolute convergence in this case. And if we look at a n to be n squared plus 2n plus 5 over 2 to the n, um, this looks like something where maybe we'd use ratio test, right? Um, ratio, possibly root. Root is going to get ugly with that polynomial, though, so let's do ratio, right? A n plus 1 over a n. We get n plus 1 squared plus 2 times n plus 1 plus 5 over 2 to the n plus 1. Multiply by 2 to the n over n squared plus 2 n plus 5. Okay, so that's going to be one half times this polynomial, which we can we can multiply the whole thing out if we care to. I guess n squared, two n, two n, four n, plus one, plus two, plus five, something like that. Details don't really matter down here, do they? Um, n squared plus two n plus five. Okay, so if we wanted to apply the ratio test, we take the limit of that thing as n goes to infinity. Uh, it's going to go to 1 half as n goes to infinity. And so this one is absolutely convergent by the ratio test. Right? Um, frequently when we're applying the ratio test, test uh, we, we often use ratio test as a test for absolute convergence. So if, if we do have sign factors to deal with, we just take the absolute value when we apply the ratio test. You're going to see that in the next section when we talk about power series. Okay. Um, the last one, well, okay, the last one diverges. We don't have to do any work. Why does it diverge? Look at the terms here. As n goes to an infinity, that's going to 3 over 5, right? So uh, the limit doesn't go to zero, right? It fails the test for divergence. If, uh, if a n doesn't go to zero as n goes to infinity, we know it can't possibly converge, absolutely or otherwise. This one just diverges, full stop.